Right, hello there YouTube and welcome to another video from me, I am Random Ross. And given now that we've gone through all four Men in Black movies, I thought why not do the ranking for this one. So, before we begin, it's all my personal opinion. No one has to agree with it, it's just mine alone. If you have your own opinion, then share it down in the comments below and we could have a discussion maybe. So, here we go, all four Men in Black movies ranked. From best to worst for me. So coming in at number four we kick things off with Men in Black 2. Now I thought this was an okay sequel but I remember when I watched it for the first time in cinemas I just remember it not I just remember not enjoying it as much as I did the first film. I mean it has some good characters in there and some good comedy moments in there uh, but it just didn't do it for me and I, did, you know, I don't know if it was a cash grab or not, but yeah, uh, I just don't. I just remember thinking this wasn't as good as the previous film. And uh, but Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones, great performances from them too. Um, great to supporting casts from Johnny Knoxville and Lara Flynn Boyle. Uh, I just didn't get the same enjoyment out of this one as I did the first film. Okay, coming in at number three is the most recent film, Men in Black International. Now, as I said in my review, the story and the writing was a bit lazy. The visuals and the acting I thought were great. I loved, I loved the chemistry between Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth, but between Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson, and you know, because they previously got on well when doing Thor Ragnarok and Avengers Endgame what screen time they had together in that um, and I thought they worked great together in this film uh, along with Liam Neeson also being on board for this um, but like I said the story the writing just ugh, you know it's, this was not, like meant to be international I think we went to like you know um, Mar Marrakesh uh, London New York um, but still, I thought it was an okay film. It was enjoyable. It weren't any snooze fest story. I just, yeah, it was. I, I was all right. It was okay. I was entertained at least. And coming in at number two is Men in Black Three. So this is the third film and the conclusion to the original trilogy. And this one, it just, it was a fun film. It was fun for me. I enjoyed it. I liked Will Smith's comedic energy in this. And I love the comedy that Josh Brolin and Tommy Lee Jones bring to the characters of Agent K. Because in this, it's played by two actors, Tommy Lee Jones as old Agent K and Josh Brolin as young Agent K. And I thought, you know, even though they were completely different actors, I think they worked as the same person and they had the same... I think they were, I think Will Smith worked great with both these two, Tommy Lee Jones and Josh Brolin. Yeah. It's like, you know, you, it's like they're two different actors playing the same character in different timelines, but they work as one, as the same person. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I like the crazy character of Boris the Animal. It was just a fun film, and I, it was one of my favourite films of summer 2012. And number one, you probably know, it's Men in Black. The first film, the film that starred it all. I remember being six years old, seeing this advertised on telly, Remember begging my mum and dad to take you know, to take me to the pictures to see this, and they did. Eventually, they gave in. I just you know, I mean, there was a lot as a kid that I didn't get, like you know, some of the, like the adult humorous bits and some of the disturbing bits. You know, a lot that went over my head. But looking at it now, I do think, yeah, this is pretty risky for a PG movie. But I loved it. I loved the funniness that Vincent D'Onofrio brought as his character, the bug or Edgar, you know, the, especially one of my favourite scenes of all time in that movie, and I don't ask why, is the water sugar scene, when he goes in and goes, sugar, give me sugar, and water, more, more, then he just drinks it all, then pulls his skin back, going, ah, is that, ah, after the wife says his skin's hanging off his bones that i just pissed myself laughing at that scene it's just so funny to me i don't know why i don't know why it just is uh, and i liked you know will smith 
back then, uh, you know, he was kind of like just like in a post Fresh Prince of Bel Air state. Tommy Lee Jones, it was the first film I ever remember him in. Well, no, it's the second film I remember him in, because before that, it was Batman Forever as Two Face. But yeah, Men in Black, the first film, I remember when it was on video, when my dad taped it for me off the telly. And I remember watching it a lot and enjoying it all the time. And I, I love Frank the Pug as well. You know, Frank the Pug, he's so cute and he can talk and he's funny. I liked him as well. Especially in the second film, like going, God, kids, you want him? Yeah, Men in Black, number one. So, yeah, that's my ranking for the Men in Black films. So, uh, let me know down in the comments below, how would you rank these films? Uh, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And to hit that notification bell. Uh, I also have a horror channel and a Doctor Who channel that are also linked down below or in the boxes above me here. Um, you know, please feel free to subscribe to them uh, and all my social media links are down below. So yeah, that's it for this video. So until next time, I bid you all a goodbye friends, goodbye.